I look like Sunday morning right now. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about just a little thought process that I had come over me. Basically, Schulman said that I told him today I was going to focus on Miss Fashion Global Funds and the mystery boxes. And so I said, I wish I could help you more. I told him, you know, it's okay. It keeps me pushing. So it brought a thought that is basically, I wish it were fucking easy. Real talk, I wish it was not this hard. I feel like every time I break down a wall, there's another wall to break down. And I just am constantly keeping at it. I wish, I don't know why, I, I don't know if I've just, you know, I'm trying to go back and look at my work if I'm not doing something right. Like, what is it that I need to improve on? Because for whatever reason, I'm here today. I mean, I have been steady hustling on this GoFundMe campaign since Wednesday, and I've been hustling on the Miss Fashion Global for a little while now, but I have so much going on. I, I have this thing where, you know, I kind of constantly have to prioritize to try to just manage what I'm get, what I have. So Miss Fashion Global was always a thought, and I was working on it, but it, now it's crunch time. Now it's serious, and now that's pretty much all I'm thinking about. Okay, how am I going to raise funds for Miss Fashion Global? You know, I've made a piece with if I don't make it, it's going to be okay. It's going to be fine, but I'm really determined to figure it out because I feel like this could be a great thing And you know what as many times as I've tried and I failed I'm still going so <laughs> Shulman thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for doing all the very best that you possibly can I'm here right now saying you know what? Even when it's hard, it's good because it keeps me pushing forward. I have not given up. I am so freaking determined. I might have changed my ideas along the way. I might have tried to, you know, figure new things out, but I have not freaking stopped. I have books. I'm going to have to show you guys my old books. The one thing that I consistently remember saying is that I want to be a designer. I want to work in fashion. And I want to inspire the people. And I know I'm going to get emotional, like always. But I know that it, it can't be easy. Innovating change cannot be easy. If it were easy, everybody would would do it and everybody can do it that's the thing everybody freaking can do it and that's exactly why i'm here telling you guys how freaking hard it is but it is what it is and it's only as hard as you make it do not give up all of this is happening to see how much faith you have how much do you believe how far are you really willing to go like do you really and truly believe in what you're doing think about it do you really and truly believe in what you're doing the reason that I choose this life is because I choose my happiness. I choose my well-being. I am not willing to spend time in places that I don't want to be. I choose happiness. And I realize that even in the places that I don't necessarily want to be, I find myself, I find peace, I find happiness, I find strength because it's, it's a lesson for me. But given the, the right, given the choice, I choose the entrepreneurial way. Feel it necessary for whatever reason. Because, you know, it's amazing. I go out and people tell me, oh my god, I love your videos. Oh my god, I, my friend called me and asked me for something and said, oh my god, you know, she started the conversation. I, I see you on Instagram like a rock star. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like wow, you know, wow. It, it's true. It's, it's, I, I feel like that is what I am that is part of my my being part of my journey part of this expression and i i can't give up i won't give up and i want to encourage you all to not give up because i feel like my life is is kind of the life that everybody wants to live maybe not necessarily the circumstances because hell i don't really want all the circumstances but they've been the best damn things I guess what I'm saying is look at what you have in front of you look at your thought process and value it really and truly value it I feel like people are just selling themselves out because they want to survive and I don't want to live a life of surviving you know everybody goes through that growth everybody even just in in day school you know you're growing from grade to grade to grade till finally you can graduate so we're always constantly evolving we're always constantly working on something what are you working on do you believe in it 100% and are you living your best life possible? Peace.